All right, well, just a couple of days ago, you performed on the Ghana Festival, the first ever Ghana mm -hmm. Festival, where we had a, a host of Guyanese artists, an all Guyanese cast performing on stage, mm -hmm. which I, I, I'm not certain if that has ever been done before, so mm -hmm. at such a magnitude, that is. Um, you know, but how did you come to, to be, be a performing at the Ghana Festival? <laughs> well, um, I got a call from Minister Pranali mm -hmm. and he said, you know, Lisa, we want to we wanna, um, bring you in for the Ghana Festival. How do you feel about that? I'm like, of course, I feel good about it. I want to come. <laughs> and he was like, so when do you want to come? Tomorrow? I'm like, I'm in L.A. I can fly from L.A. tomorrow to mm -hmm. New York. But, but I can come the following day, mm -hmm. which was a Thursday. And he was like, okay, good, we'll set it up. But then my flights keep getting canceled because of airline problems that right. the airline was having. And mm. I'm not going to say who, but, um, you know, and eventually things got sorted out. And I was in the airport for a day, an entire day, waiting for things to be sorted wow. out. Wow. With this airline. <laughs> and then finally I got on a plane with a, another airline and I mm. ended up here on Saturday. So <laughs> it was quite, I, I, I had to be here. I had to be here. However it was, However, had to be here. However, yes. <laughs> right, right. Good. Now, I must say the performance on stage, that was, that was outstanding. I Thank mean, you. I mean, you've always brought it to the stage. You've always had, you know, outstanding performances. But I mean, this particular performance and, the, you know, the fact that you did the first song for your mom, yeah. you know, that was a really powerful thing. So, uh, and then I also noticed that, you brought um, Pino, the poet, mm -hmm. who's a really good rapper, mm -hmm. be, been doing his thing for a while. And you got Jackie Jax to, came to come on stage and perform with you. Um, so are we to expect any additional collaborations happening sometime soon? <laughs> Maybe a little hint, something? Um, yes, yes, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, we just have to support our own. And since I'm, I'm to me right about now, I'm getting the attention of not just Guyanese but mm. people out of Guyana I think it's only fair that I sh I, I sh let them see that we have others here as well mm -hmm. so definitely I'll be collaborating with people I'm looking forward to collaborating with er anyone that I can because mm -hmm. everyone and, and everyone every other artist that we have here is just as good or even better than I am it's just that I was given the opportunity because I decided, you know what, I'm not going to sit down, mm -hmm. I'm going to get out and I'm going to go do it. But not a lot of people are given that opportunity to get up, to get out, to go right. get it done. Mm -hmm. So if I can just get, do collaborations with them and others can hear them too and come look for them and give them a chance to get out, then I'm going to do that. Right. <laughs> if you were to advise a young person somebody who's now up and coming in the music industry you know based on your experiences and everything that you'd have gone through to get to where you are what would that advice be what that what would that bit of of knowledge be you know to, to that young person who's up and coming the best thing i've ever learned <laughs> and the best gift i've ever received was from mr eric phillips and it was a dvd called the secret mm -hmm. I was 15 years old when I got that secret DVD to watch, mm -hmm. and I watched it. And from since then, I started putting my life in writing. I started writing my life the way I want my life to be. Mm -hmm. I started having vision boards, cutting things out of magazines, putting up, visualizing that that is going to be me, and not wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. It's living and believing it. Right. You understand? You right. have to believe it with everything you have. Don't wish to think it. And I that every every person that's looking at me and say, Oh, I wanna be just like Lisa Punch, you just watch that DVD, you just apply it. That which I visualize and hold firmly in belief is already mm. mine. Right. You understand? It's already yours. Just believe it with your whole being and stay humble. Stay true to yourself, mm. stay humble, be yourself and, and always be always try to give back to the people that has helped you reach thus far too mm -hmm. and not just the people that have helped you but the people that need the help as well that would be my advice all right today. all right now let's let's get away from the music for a little while i one of the things that i've noticed is that family seems to be a very very important part of your life so mm -hmm. how how important actually is 
your family and, and, and how do you feel, how do they feel about the success that you would have, you know, you would have had so far? Um, I love my family with everything. And I think part, well, I know part of the reason why I, why I'm here and I am, the reason mm. why I am who I am is because of them, mm. you know, because of my family. And the reason I'm doing this too is because of them. And I want my family to have a better life. Mm. And I, I really do love them. They've been there supporting me from day one. Like they put up with me. <laughs> Everyone sees Lisa the artist. They see Lisa the artist, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa the Lisa, Lisa the punch, Lisa the everything. They see everything, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, the mm. pretty, the beautiful, everything they see. And they still love me for who I am because that's what make me who I am. And they love me for that. And my family, they're very, very important. And I love them and, I, and I'm, I'm doing this for them. All right. All right, so Rising Star is over. The Ghana Festival is officially over. Uh, you, you understand that you have new management. So, um, you know, where do we see Lisa going forward? Well, <laughs> I do have new management mm -hmm. and my manager is Mary Brown mm -hmm. from the United States. She wrote the um, Destiny's Child first number one hit single, mm -hmm. No No No. She also sang the backing vocal for Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown's Something in Common. Mm -hmm. She wrote the remix for um, Your Love Is My Love with Wyclef and Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. She she worked with PDD for nine years on his show making of the band. She is known. <laughs> mm -hmm. She is known by all these people. Definitely. And she is somebody that I am so privileged to be working with. That's why I'm talking about her mm -hmm. and her catalog so that you can get an understanding of who she is and mm -hmm. what she represents and, and you can formulate in your own mind exactly where Lisa uh, will be heading. Exactly. <laughs> she sounds like a pretty powerful person. So <laughs> Yeah. We can. De I am definitely seeing really, really amazing things in the future. I'm um, sticking on point a little bit. I know that you would have um, been exploring theatre yeah, some yes. time ago. So, should we be seeing some acting coming up, maybe sometime? Acting, I acting is my first love. That's the first thing I did when I was in, when I was younger in nursery mm -hmm. school. I was acting, and I won a couple of awards: mm -hmm. the best actress, best supporting actress. And I'm definitely looking forward to being cast in a movie sometime because I I cannot just speak with my Guyanese accent. I can speak with any accent I want to, but I choose to speak with my accent right. because it sounds sweet to people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did actually hear that before. Yeah. I did actually hear that before. Now, we're in 2014. Mm -hmm. Where do you think Lisa Punch will be in 2024? By then, Lisa will already have her own record label. Lisa will... I see that Lisa, she'll have her own record label. She'll be a Grammy Award winner, not just one Grammy Award. She'll have many Grammy Awards to her name. She'll have many MTVs, BETs, AMAs, all this fancy stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see big things in my future and I'll be starring in movies too. So you're definitely swinging for the fences. <laughs> of course, you have to dream big. Dream right. big. <laughs> now, tell me, I know there's a lot of people that were really instrumental in, in making, in getting you to where you are. Yes. So tell me a little bit of some of the persons that you would have worked with both directly and maybe to some extent indirectly, you know, mm -hmm. persons who would have been around to drop a little bit of advice, somebody who would have, you know, probably said, you know, D don't sing this song in that key. Mm. take it up a notch or whatever tell me a little bit about some of the persons that were instrumental in getting you to where you are today i mean there are so many people so many people and as human we forget some people as well mm. and then others get angry because you forget to mention them <laughs> and it's not like you forget that to mention not that you forget them completely but at the time you didn't remember to mention right. them so for me i stay away from mentioning people individually <laughs> and i just say Thank you to every single person that has helped me, even the teachers, because the teachers were the ones who made me, groomed me mm -hmm. into this young lady that I am too, because I participated in children's mastermind competitions, and it's because of those teachers that 
I knew how to be on stage mm -hmm. and I wasn't afraid to be on stage and I loved being on stage because of those teachers mm -hmm. so I, I must say our teachers are very important and they should you know pay attention to a child that has a passion for something and push a child towards that and to, and I think every person is a teacher whether they whether they tell you to take a key up a notch and mm -hmm. you know or, or just oh smile a little more for the camera or you shouldn't talk about this you should talk about that you mm -hmm. should focus on this you shouldn't focus on that I think every person is a teacher and every person that came across my life and told me what to do and, and how to do it mm -hmm. has taught me so many things so I must say thank you to all the teachers all right that's really <laughs> really powerful well Lisa it was great to sit down to finally get to sit down and <laughs> have a really good chat and, and, and really thank get in dipped into, into who Lisa Punch is and what she's been doing and we wish you the best of luck you know that 592 jams loves you to death and we will know. always be here for you <laughs> all right so we want to see big things happening for you and we're going to definitely be supporting you throughout every single journey that you take on all right so thank, thank you very you. much for sitting down with us this is 592 jams music is we life <laughs>